Hello and welcome back to a foreigner and family in the Philippines and I'm back over at the pineapple farm. I'm going to show what we are looking to do for a corn crop over here. We're going to plant some corn and what we need to do to get ready and uh, already behind the power curve folks are we had a big rain last night and folks are already planting their corn and my, our, my field's not even prepped yet. So, but I had just gotten over here to the rubber farm and I noticed that there's a cow right over here. It looks like it just gave birth too because it's got some uh, placenta type stuff hanging out of its hind area and it's got the uh, baby cow over there and it looks like it's not even standing up yet. So it's kind of cool to see the mommy and the baby cow. And this area is the area that I'm looking to. There were that was actually we had tried some cucumbers over there. That was a failed cucumber crop, and it was because of the the dry season was so rough. But now it is the beginning of the rainy season, so we need to get that area prepped. I'm actually going to walk over there just to kind of see what I've got going on. We're going to hire a couple of carab carabao to come over here with the plow and plow it that way. And we just want to make sure we can actually get a carabao right now. And the rate for a carabao is 500 pesos per day to have them plow. And that's about $10 US. And this would be a good kind of a trial run because once we get that Del Monte off the property finally, because they've still got their pineapples up here. We can come back over and maybe see about doing some some corn planting there. So I need to get, see how it goes with the corn. If we can be successful with that. In this area, this is a pretty significant area. I've got the hill that I just walked up and then coming back down over there and then going back up that hill over there and down the other side so I've got the two hills in this area that I can plant the corn so that'll be a significant amount of area I actually pan back around kind of slowly so I don't get anybody sick you can see where the I just came from with the cow and the baby cow over there And while I'm standing here, I'm just gonna zoom out, zoom out in at a couple of things. That over there is a coffee tree, which the coffee trees are flowering right now and they smell absolutely amazing. This one over here, that's the durian tree. We've looked at that durian tree before. And then Actually, there are a couple of bananas over there, but it's actually on the other side of that hill. That's where I've shown some of the banana videos. And then right up here along the pineapple line, the pineapple line there, these are, that's a jackfruit, that's a jackfruit, and that's a jackfruit with a meringue kind of in front of it a little bit, and another jackfruit down a little further. And then sporadically, even on even on these two hills that we're going to plant the corn on, there are a couple of different things going on. There are some mahogany trees and there are some coffee trees. So we're just going to avoid those and come back and um, 
to maybe dig those up and plant those somewhere else. More ideal. And I've just come back down to that durian tree. And when I was here, before, I have filmed this tree before, and when I had filmed it before, there were flowers in here and it smelled really nice. Uh, those flowers are now gone. Um, a couple of the, the durians here, these are, these are pretty small, wimpy durians. It looks like somebody's been uh, back over here uh, grabbing them. That's one of the reasons why we're putting up the fence too. Uh, security type deal. And this one, but this one's just bad. And it's got the some ants all over it. And I think if I take it off, they're just going to go down to this one. I don't know. I'll leave it on and see if they, if that one can develop. They'll just keep on that one and leave this one alone. Actually, they're not even leaving that one alone now. And now I'm back over at one of the jackfruit trees that I had just showed you on, against the pineapple line there. And I'm looking at these jackfruit and I'm just amazed at how quickly they've returned. Now they're, they're not the biggest jackfruit. They're, some of these are pretty decent sized though. And they look a lot better, a lot healthier than the ones uh, previously. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I need to get over here and prune them a little bit better. And, uh, <clears throat> try and keep do what I can to fi find out about these ants. I've got ant like a, just an infestation with ants everywhere on this in this area. So I'd like to see what I can do to get rid of some ants and try and keep some of these fruits a little more healthy because that's mostly what I see uh, getting into these fruits. And I don't know if it's something else getting into them first and then the ants coming along, but I would like to enjoy some of these fruit. I still have not. Because those folks that came by with the jackfruit, I just thought they were going to come back and take them later. I did sell them at a pretty pretty low price, but it was just because I thought they were going to come back and take them later. And they may have come back and got the durians. But it, anyways, I still haven't tasted a jackfruit. I want to taste a, a, a jackfruit. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to a durian, though. But... And now I'm actually, I showed you this side of our plans for the corn. I'm going to go to that other area and see if that's going to be uh, maybe a good option for, and then have it staggered. So that way while we're working on, get this one done first and then try and get some corn planted over there a little bit later on. And I am back on the other side. I'm back on the other side of the property and we are where we're looking to do the, the corn too. This will be like the, the, the second stage of the corn. And so this is the area, this, the, the squatter area was just up top there. And these some of these trees are supposed to be um, removed here. Now that the election's over, I guess the, the person's gonna be able to, to work on them better. It's what we were told, so we'll see how that goes. But this back, this whole back area, we'd like to get some corn planted on too. And this actually needs a whole lot more crep work back here. And I'm also back here, and I don't see all of the cows right now, which is a good thing. It's good because I'm gonna be living over here and I don't want people putting their their animals over here. I got this rooster running wild over there. If he's chasing the hen or what, he's going buck wild. Just got attacked by a cobra, who knows? But this back area is supposed to be prime. So I'd like to get some corn back here. Even over, even over there. Wow, these coffee trees are all over the place. That's another one there. They smell wonderful. So this is the the other side, and like this is going to take a little longer. It needs a lot more prep work here. We were cutting some bamboo down over there. I know I got to be less jerky with the camera here. And then we're also cutting through the trees there, cutting some bamboo down over there. 
actually we still got to get some of that cleaned up and then these banana trees look really really healthy back here even I had trimmed those up these are the ones that I had trimmed up on the uh, there's there's actually a patch this patch here there's there are banana trees throughout but on that other side is where I was doing some of the other videos for the bananas and I plan on stopping by there before I leave today because I have a feeling some of those bananas are ready although I gotta look at this one here oh man these are good size too and those should be those are lacatans and those are very nice size lacatans same with uh, that bunch over there that's a pretty decent looking bunch but I definitely like the look of that one they are not they're still green they're not starting to yellow up not quite ready and yeah these these trees were not well taken care of I still have the leaves that are hanging down I didn't I didn't get those off um, but look how they're kind of bunched up you'll have like right over there you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like seven or eight trees all bunched together like that. But I'm, I'm actually walking back here because it's a little, it's a little deceiving. If you come across here, this actually goes down quite a ways. So I just want to see what kind of area I'm looking at in terms of how many bags of seeds I'm going to get. They get, you get two bags per hectare you plant if you're planting one hectare of land you'll get two bags of seeds uh, the sacks are nine kilos each and i have a feeling this wind picked up over here so i'm actually going to walk back to where i have some sanctuary from the wind because i don't know if you guys can still hear me but that's it we're looking to get this one planted second it's going to take a little longer so that way while the other one's kind of planted and growing, I can take my time getting this one ready and getting it planted. And I had just walked by uh, the squatter area, so I'm just going to wrap that into this video and I'll show what, what I've got going on over there. So I did come back up to the squatter area real quick. It looks like they have kind of gone through this trash a little bit more and, and rummaged through it a little bit cleared that out which is good um, and they had stacked up some of their what was left of the hut I don't know if they're coming back for that or if that's something we have to burn later on but I'll leave it out but the, the kind of the big deal here is that I wanted to show uh, I mean I irritated with it is you know the fence we're working on the fence trying to get the the property sealed off and secured and, and it has been open for a while so this is just probably some things we just have to deal with until we get it secured this is how it's going to be uh, we had an extra cement post over here it looks like we may need to to use it since they broke that one and they did it's kind of funny because they're like okay we broke this one sorry but they pulled up the one that we had left over here it's like it looks like okay well you can fix it it's but we're done we're out of here i don't know if that's their goodbye or but or i mean it might not even been the squatters it could have been the there were like six or seven cows back here as well, and I don't see any of them now. I don't know if that, that notified the people, but it's like there's, a, there's actually a road right over here out of the property, which has not, I have not sealed it, sealed that, uh, I haven't closed that off yet. Uh, they could have just gone walk the cows right over here instead of having to bust down the, the fence there and this is because and like I was saying this this side is on the uh, complete other side of the property and then you have the pineapples in between from where I was at the beginning of the video and we're doing the corn on this side and that far side and this is what's in between and I've got these roads here they could have just gone out to the to the road there I guess it would have been a significant amount of trips but I didn't need to bust somebody's fence whose property you probably should have had your cows on and not a big deal I didn't mind having the cows on that's free fertilizer but now that I'm here I did kind of want to you know 
get things secure and, and just with some of the issues I've had with the, the squatters and stuff, I don't want any ideas or, or keep it there when I've got crops or something else growing. So that's just one of the things is just getting acclimated to that, but kind of switch topics. The, the, the main purpose of this was the corn. And, and I was just surveying the two areas because we plan on having the caribou come out to plant, to uh, plow uh, as soon as we can. By this Saturday, uh, even tomorrow or Friday if we can get them. And get started on that other side because that's going to be quick. And get some corn planted over there and then get working on this one. It's, this one's going to be a little bit more uh, of a chore because there are some, some small brush and trees and weeds that we have to be taken care of. And, but this is looking nice. This is, is cleaning up over here. I think we'll just pile up some of this little rubble here and we'll get this area looking nice too. And we got to call the uh, person responsible for clearing these trees, see if they're doing that or at least set a, a date on them where they were done. You know, we purchased this last year and it should have been done. But that's a whole nother topic. And I just guess I'm done with my rant for now. But I definitely would like to see some more subscriptions. I, I, I've even, I'm actually embarrassed with how low the number is. I'm trying to get that number up. If um, I definitely appreciate just hitting the subscribe button. Uh, so that's all for now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.